Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is kind of a follow-up video for a couple of the plowing videos I've done. and I'm going to do another one. Uh, I'm going to do some more plowing videos. A uh, couple of reasons is plowing is kind of a science and an art combined. Another reason is I really enjoyed plowing and uh, I've got quite a bit of it to do. So anyhow what we're going to talk about today is draft control and you can see uh, our float control or it's called a lot of different things but uh, the draft control when you got two levers on your lift a three-point hitch one's draft one is position one uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about that so what is draft control and what does it do well as we talked about in the other video, plowing at the right depth is crucial. And uh, there's a lot of things plowing. If you, let me back up. If you're going to plow, you, there's several things about it you got to keep in mind. One, you got to make it easy on the tractor that's pulling the plows. And number two, and most importantly, is you're trying to get the ground plowed good uh, this is the start of the seed bed preparation and you've got to have a good seed bed preparation in order to grow a good crop so uh, that's the key you want to get all the ground turned you want to get it broken up and loosened up so that's one reason we do what we do and it takes me pains if you don't follow the proper steps do it correctly uh, it the plows can be very hard to pull particularly on a hillside or a slope and you won't do a good job plowing so what the draft control does is try to maintain the depth of the plows or whatever you set them so if you go across the hump and you know the front of the tractor goes down the back of the tractor naturally wants to come up or if you go through a dip the front of the tractor comes up and the back of the tractor with the plows wants to go down they want to go too deep so the way it works is now <clears throat> keep in mind this is by no means a be all end all conversation on draft control there's a lot to it and uh, we're just going to kind of give you an idea of what it does and a little bit on how it does it and then uh, you know so if you go out to plow your garden or a small acreage or something and you pick you up a set of used plows hook them to your tractor your farm utility tractor and go out to plow then you won't pull your hair out maybe this may be something that could help you so like I said, the draft control is to try to maintain the proper depth. And the way it works is, is it works off the top link. Okay. Now, you set your draft control. If you're plowing in real hard ground, you want the draft to be less sensitive. If you're plowing in real soft ground, you want the draft to be more sensitive. Okay. And what it does is it'll raise and lower the plows and I am going to insert a little clip to show you what I'm talking about the plows going up and down Okay, you can see how the plows went up and down. What that was was the draft control trying to control the depth. Okay, now you've got a couple settings. Number one is your lever up there. That's your position that you want your draft in. The other one is these three holes right here. Now some tractors have two, you know, but most of them have multiple. If you're plowing in hard ground, now you can see here the way this works is this pushes in here this lever works in here controls the lift to make the lift come up okay so if you're if you want it to be real sensitive you hook your top link in this hole leverage the ge geometry of it it pushes in on this easier causes this to work quicker causes your lift to come up okay if you're plowing in real soft ground and the plows have a tendency to run too deep you would do it here of course your plows are probably out of adjustment you'll need to do some work there if it's kind of medium 
ground, you, you plow here. A lot of times, do a lot of plowing here. Now, the field I was plowing yesterday is very compacted. It was hard, so I had them up here. Basically, I didn't want them to move until it pulled hard on the tractor, which you could see in the plowing video, the tractor spinning a little bit. Uh, that was one of the things. But what this does is this works as a pivot, and it rolls in. This rod controls the linkage inside the lift, cause the lift to come up and down. So if your plow start running too deep, it'll automatically lift them up a little bit when it applies pressure here and you can go on. Uh, in a nutshell, that's the way the draft control works. Now, having it properly set uh, can make a huge difference on how it plows too. Um, another point that we'll talk about is the safety trip. Uh, that's designed if you hook a rock, a stump, or something, you don't want to break the plow. And it just springs back. And they're adjustable. They're spring loaded. You can see right in here, the spring, uh, you can adjust them, put more tension on them, and everything. And I'm going to insert a little clip of that tripping. And what you do, you just back up and they reset. Now, you want them tight enough that they don't trip a lot to wire the plows out but you want them loose enough that they'll trip before they break anything. I had a couple of questions about the plowing and uh, the components of the plow. Here we have a turning plow. Okay. The basic design has been unchanged for a long time. This is your point or your plow share. This is your shin. And this is your moorboard. Okay. This cuts the ground. Okay. You got to remember it's moving in this direction, like so. So this is cutting the ground. This is splitting the ground at the depth that you're running, the shin. This cuts the ground. The mower board rolls the ground off. Actually does the turning. That's what, that's what its function is. Uh, that's the basic functions of it. The tail wheel, I forgot to mention it. It helps hold the plows in the fur in position. And there's the winch in the way. And the landslides. They, that's what it works as a shoe. You can see the landslide right here that the plows ride on in the fur. Okay. Now, that's one of the questions we had. Another question is why you want to run the plows level and straight? Well, if you got the plows too high in the back and too low in the front, Two things are going to happen. One is the plows are going to have a tendency to run too deep. They're not going to get down in the fur and ride at a consistent depth. They're going to want to plunge down or suck down. If you have them too high in the front and too low in the back, they'll have a tendency not to go in the ground. They'll have a tendency to ride up out of the ground. Now keep in mind, we're still trying to do a good job plowing. So that's another th one reason. Now, if you've got them out of level from left to right, what'll happen is one side will plow deeper than the other. And what that does is cause to pull the tractor up or down and you're not doing a good job. If this one's high and that one's low, that's gonna plow too deep. And this is gonna plow too shallow. And the one in the middle will probably be about right. Uh, if the plows are not straight with the tractor, if the plows are turned this way, it'll have a tendency to pull the tractor down the hill. If the plows are turned this way, it'll have a tendency to pull the tractor up the hill. So uh, when you get the plows adjusted properly, they're not hard to pull. They should not be that hard to pull in decent ground. Uh, if the ground's really hard, yeah, they're going to be hard to pull, but if they're set properly. 
and the way you change the pitch, uh, you know, the beams left to right, now not the level, but the pitch of the plows, is you adjust your arm, your three-point hitch. And you can see it's offset 180 degrees. See the other side is offset 180 degrees. And you basically tighten or loosen this bolt to roll that. And that will pitch the back of the plows left and right. Uh, I hope that answers some questions. Uh, if you have any more, send them our way and we'll try to get them answered. But until next time, and we may try to get some plowing done this coming week at night. Until next time, this has been Adam, Mountain Farmer. Like us, subscribe to us, check us out on our Facebook page, Rocky Hollow Farm. Comment, let us know what you think, ask questions. And until next time, take care of yourself. Goodbye.